The idea came from some experiences that we had within the team a year ago. Um, we have this really diverse group. They come from all over the place. They have uh, different life experiences, different backgrounds, different cultures that they represent, different religions. Uh, and, and we love the diversity that we have in the team. Our sport kind of lends itself to that. Uh, and we had two, two situations last year. We were playing on the road in both cases. Um, and in the first game, all of the black kids on our team uh, in the course of a game got called uh, a monkey during the game. And it was really shocking to us. It was, uh, it was something that was really hard for us to, to process. Um, at halftime of that game, we talked to the, the opponent's coaches, we talked to the referees, we talked about just leaving the game and not finishing the game. Uh, we got some assurances that it wouldn't continue. Uh, so we went back out and, and continued to play. And within a few minutes, one more slur came out. And uh, the response from our players at that point was to fight. And uh, so as an educator and as their coach, you know, we were trying to give them some ideas on how to better handle themselves when these situations arise. Uh, and one of our Hispanic kids got uh, racially abused with some, some language. Um, and really hurtful. It brought him to tears in the course of a game. And again, our team's response was to come out violently in, in response to that. And so, you know, as we talk about it with the team, and we talked about it in our locker room, and we, and we, we started to have this conversation about what is the appropriate way for us to handle it when, when situations like this arise. Our guys love each other. They're very tight-knit. Um, we don't have racial divides within our group. The, 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 the issue was that our group wants to stick up for one another when somebody feels offended. And obviously we can't have a violent response to this every time that it happens. Through that conversation, I started to learn some things about their life here in, in Valparaiso. Uh, when they go to the store, uh, when they walk around campus, and sometimes not in such an overt, overt way, but they get treated uh, in ways that they feel different. And so we wanted to come up with an idea that was really just for our team initially. Uh, just a celebration of who we are uh, and so we, we thought about this social media campaign where we would just take photos of ourselves and videos of ourselves and highlight the differences that we have and always say right across the chest, we're, we're Valpo. You know, we're all here from different places and we're one Valpo. And so that's how it started and it started, you know, very, very grassroots level and very small and, and as we were going with it, we started to see this thing grow and take momentum and, and people around campus and around the community wanted to get involved. And so we've been really excited to see the response of it. We want it to be a positive message. You know, when you watch the news and, and not just in our own country, but around the world, there's obviously this is still something that we're, we're trying to figure out uh, on the planet. Um, so you'd hope that we'd be met with, with a positive response, um, but it has been really nice to see. You know, we've played eight games so far. Uh, every single one of our opponents is, is happily signed on. Um, and we've uh, had great response around campus from fraternities and sororities and other campus groups, uh, other sports teams on, in our athletic department. And it's been a really wonderful thing to watch it grow. And our, our, our goal is to make it not just a soccer thing. Uh, we want to make sure that we're sharing a message that goes well beyond soccer. Uh, we have this platform because of our sport and we do look like the poster of what it should be with our team. And so uh, it, we're a good place to start the spotlight, but we want to turn that light on to everybody else.